Yep. I should tell my Chris Christie story, right? Because you yeah. guys need. No, that. You can. Other uh, oh. Christie, the welcome here, and I like how Christie uh, put away. Um, uh, what is it? Um, Trump's uh, son-in-law's father. Kushner. Yeah, Charlie Kushner. Yeah. Yeah. That was our case. What's the Chris Christie so, story? So Chris Christie, here we go. So we can. Chris Christie went a hundred no with public corruption prosecutions. Now, part of that is when you don't take every case and you only take the ones you know you can win, but whatever, it is what it is, and I'm good with that, right? Um, so take Christie. We're, we're on our 100th victory. It was a, a guy from the Monmouth County Western Utilities Authority who couldn't figure out, They're not. there's no brain surgeons here either. He couldn't mm-hmm. figure out the fact that he was utilizing the utility authority and he would bring in vendors, i.e. a fence guy or a window guy or an alarm guy or a camera guy, and then he would pay that. And then he would use that same guy for his house or his son's house or his daughter's house. And we, we broke it to him. Yeah. We said, listen, Wait, who's he, who's he, Bernie what? Carrick? <laughs> <laughs> and what was the, the Di Tomasos? But anyway, um, oh my God, I'd probably get beat up for that. But um, sorry, guys, I like them. So what happens is um, we talk to him and he says, well, I'm just bartering. I don't understand. People do it all the time. My dentist and the carpet guy, they, I said, but what's the difference? He said, I don't think there's any difference. I said, they own the dental practice. They own the carpet <laughs> store. You don't own the utilities authority. You're an appointed official. Uh, he goes to trial anyway, gets convicted, makes his kids lie on the stand. Shocker. Terrible, right? We're done. We win. Now, remember, U.S. Attorney's Office is all young Ivy League law school. Uh, Guys and girls, they're great. They're great. I had them, die. they're laughing. Everybody's laughing their ass off. I'm telling Joker. I said, I got one more, then I got to get back to the office. So, yeah, what is it? I said, How come the Yankees can't sign any more free agents? So, we don't know. How come? I said, Because that fat fuck, Chris Christie, took all the pinstripes for his latest suit. <laughs> Nobody laughs. Nobody laughs. He was right behind me. No, he said, no. Can I see you? Can I see you for a minute? Don't ever fucking come back in this office again. I said, well, I have to come back. Oh, uh, I'm driving back to the office. I was I was the two in charge at that point. How many tickets my, did you get when he was gone? My boss from DC. My boss from DC. <laughs> the phone's ringing. I go, yes, sir. He's like, did you oh, say it? No. I go, yes, I did. He goes, that's funny as shit. You're suspended for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the best two weeks ever. That was worth. Oh, it was good. Well, they collected money for me. I made three times. My ex-wife was like, "This is great. You should get spend it more often." More often. Like, no, you, you doesn't work. Tell us. We're gonna we're gonna because we're gonna do a, a definitely a second, <laughs> probably a third part. We're gonna oh, wrap shit. it up soon, but I, but I do have a few more questions. Uh, yeah, I'm you gotta sorry. tell us the Mark Zuckerberg mm-hmm. story because I don't know where the hundred million went either. But if you, if you could share the Mark Zuckerberg story, that'd be pretty. Oh, cool. absolutely. So I get a chance to go out Northern Cal, um, a group of service academy guys, and we go out there and. Um, you know, we get a chance to go into Facebook, into Google. Yeah. We visit a bunch of different areas. And um, anyway, I'm sitting there and out he comes. And he's, I'm going to take questions. And the guys are telling me, don't do it. You know, don't do it. Because I'm telling them a story about how we still can't figure the city of Newark is missing $100 million And Cory Booker was the mayor. And what's yeah. going on? Whatever. Don't, they're telling me, don't do it. You know, he's going to come out for drinks tonight. Don't do it. Whatever. Don't. Put, I, you know, I couldn't help myself. I was still an active guy I was still active yeah. so yeah. he gets on any more questions I said I got one more what what did you do with you know what did Cory Booker do with the fucking hundred million that you gave him and he just he turned like he looked evil and uh, I was like and everybody's like fuck you idiot you know and he just walked off <laughs> that was it you it was you you got, you got you got that. you didn't get suspended for that though obviously because he's a civilian no right? everybody loved it yeah everybody loved it. I got I got talked to again because it, it was a smaller group but thank god I was on leave yeah, Thank yeah, God yeah. I didn't fly with my weapon, you know, all yeah, kinds of, yeah, you know, yeah. I didn't pre- present myself as a, Smart. as an unofficial duty, but it was good. It was good. I love it. So <laughs> we're going to, we're going to conclude, but before we do, um, and we're going to, we're going to do a few things. We want to talk about uh, C3 again. Um, but the, 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 I, I think one of your strong points was asset cultivation. So I, I'm really interested. You have mostly covered mob content. Can you give us a little bit about, how you cultivated assets, you know, um, that are ex, you know, mo- that were mob guys. Jason's really interested. I'm sorry for asking this question for you. And I'm just crossing it out because I'm asking it. What's, <laughs> what's that line of like, hey, this guy I'm going to flip and I'm going to use, or this guy's such a dirtbag. 
I don't know if I want to flip them because I can't just let it go. Kind of like the I interviewed uh, Judge Gleason with Sammy the Bull, and yep. his his thing was like we did an analysis. Him putting away the forty families, uh, forty guys saved X amount of lives. So they justified it, and I get that, right? But yep. I want to give us kind of how did you cultivate assets? What was that threshold? And maybe give any examples broadly if you can. Yeah, definitely. So I think the big thing is looking at the fact that they're going to have to get on the stand and admit to what they did yeah. start to finish. So we kind of look at when I'm looking at that, first off, like we talked about, you're going to nurture the relationship. You're going to minimize their actions. You're going to bring them on team America. You're going to talk about all the things they have in common, but then you're going to look at the actual um, factual evidence based allegations that they're going to be questioned by the good defense. Well, any defense attorney, you get a guy like Michael Critchley up there hammering yeah. you. You're going to start as the agent. You're going to start saying, shit, I think I think my guy, I, I don't think he's guilty. That's how good a guy like that is. So that's the first kind of threshold. Hey, yeah. can we get past what a jury is a jury going to listen to this and say, this guy admitted to three 